What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fornal Marketing, and welcome to Braids for Technical Marketers. Today, let's go over the relatively new feature, the context step of Braze Canvases to personalize messages with dynamic dates. So if we receive a date, we can actually add a few dates or subtract a few dates and then use that in our messaging uh, for personalization. Let's get started. So here I am inside a canvas. I just created a brand new canvas. Um, and excuse me, let me go ahead and capitalize that M so everything is consistent. Okay, create a brand new canvas, attach the context step to it. And let's just take a look and play around and see what we could do. So first context steps or context variables are kind of like canvas wide, like, you know, canvas wide global variables that you can um, use throughout the canvas. They do provide a little bit more flexibility than Canvas entry properties. And actually, Canvas entry properties have now become context variables. So the idea is that when a user goes through this Canvas journey, uh, we can actually give them some new additional context variables or Canvas variables. Uh, maybe we can create multiple ones. And we can, and how they work is we actually use um, a hard coded value, or we can borrow from an existing. Uh, personal data like custom attributes or context variables, which are Canvas entry properties uh, or previously known as. What I want to do, I am going to first um, go to my user profile and just see if I have any date values I could use. I don't have any, so let me go ahead and log that real quick. Here it is. Let's say I attended some event yesterday on April Fools at 5 p.m. Um, in our local time. It looks like we are in Pacific Daylight Time, so minus 07 is correct for um, LA or anybody based on the West Coast. Okay, and let's say we want to take the custom attribute event date and then manipulate that date inside our context variable step. So maybe say um, follow up event follow up date, uh, which is going to be one day later, exactly 24 hours after this event date. And this data type is going to be a time. And what we're going to do is we are going to include um, or start by adding our custom attribute, our event date. So for this user, when they go through this context variable, um, we're going to use their event date. And let's actually preview it. We can actually preview this. Let's preview. You won't get anything until you click first get random user or you look for a specific uh, user that has the custom attribute. So event follow up date is, um, this is actually correct. This is, uh, it looks like it's in UTC time. So April 2nd, midnight is in fact, April 1st, 5 PM, um, seven hours behind UTC. Braze does use kind of multiple time zones for their timestamps, which is okay. Oh, great. We know that it's, um, referencing the correct custom attribute. But then we do want it to be event follow up date. So that's going to be plus one more. If I had a description box, I would say plus one date. So what we're going to do is we are going to create um, a date that's going to be one day later than this event um, using liquid. And yes, we can definitely write it ourselves or we could ask ChatGPT for help. So we can say, can you uh, create a, can you write in some liquid? Write in liquid to uh, provide one day, 24 hours after this event date variable. Let's see what it gives us. Great. It did exactly what we wanted to do. We want to first convert it to Unix timestamp, add 86,400 seconds, which is uh, exactly one day's worth of seconds. And then we are going to reformat it to this date timestamp. Um, and it gave us what we needed. So I'm going to copy that go to here and that looks beautiful. And if you remember earlier, I said April 2nd in our preview, let's see if that does change successfully to April 3rd at midnight. Um, didn't work because ChatGPT did uh, lose our dollar sign syntax. So make sure that we are copying over everything exactly. Uh, the dollar sign goes in front of event date. So right here. Okay, and then single quotes, yeah. So that's the thing to watch out for when you do plug things into ChatGPT, you never know like what syntax it's going to break, right? 
Um, let's try one more time. Hopefully we do see April 3rd and April 3rd it is. So what our liquid code did successfully add one full day to our custom attribute event date, which is um, this value right here. Great, so I'm happy with this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to click done, but before that I'm gonna save, copy the context variable name, click done. And I believe what our next step is going to be is actually send an email. And maybe this email gets sent right when the event starts or maybe three hours after the event starts because the event is only um, maybe one hour long. So then after the event is over, we are going to say something like, Let's see. Thank you for attending our event. Um, you have until to, I don't know, follow up and sign up for our service. And then that until date is going to be exactly one day after the event date that's listed on the user's custom attribute. Um, but we can't reference the custom attribute. That's the event date. We need to reference the context variable that we created with the attribute that we created, event follow up date, and that's going to get pasted here. So, once again, just to clarify, what we're doing is we created a context variable in this step, event follow up date. And then now we're going to, now we're able to access it um, in this email step just by calling the simple context variable syntax just like this. And not only can we reference it in just that email, but we should be able to reference it in all the other emails, all the follow-ups, all the push messages, you know, in-app messages, wherever it takes liquid. Now, I don't believe Braze yet allows us to be able to preview this and see what that context variable looks like. In, pre in other steps. So you see how it's still coming out blank. It is there, we know it's there, we put it in there, um, and we know we've tested it and confirmed what the value will be in our previous step, um, in this context step, but I don't believe we can actually see it. So the only way to really find out is launching the test to myself and see if I receive April 3rd as my value. Um, so let's go ahead and actually do that. So, so we will launch it as soon as we send it to only the external ID Allen. Um, no, and nothing else to set here. Send settings, build canvas. We should be good to go. It's because we're missing a subject. So um, one hour delay, oh, sorry, one day delay test and then I'll go ahead and launch the canvas and stay tuned for our email to arrive. Our email has arrived and take a look. You have until April 3rd to follow up and sign up for our service. And that context variable did popul populate successfully in our email, even though we couldn't see it in Braze. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.